Hey friends, this is Veronica B. Colt and welcome back to my channel where we talk about plus size sewing, we talk about family, we talk about all of that and in truth, whatever we feel like talking about in the moment. If my background looks different to you, it's because I'm still in a uh, beautiful Toronto. Y'all, when I got here, this is not what this was looking like. I digress. I'm getting ready to go catch a flight, but not before I go ahead and record a video that is about the indie sewing patterns that you can find that are size inclusive for workwear. Now, a couple of videos back, someone was like, hey girl, can you do a roundup of uh, sewing patterns that we can use for when we have to go into work? And I get it. Like as much as we wish that we did not have to go into work, unfortunately it is still a thing. I'm obviously a huge supporter of working from home as I work from home myself. And it's my favorite thing when my husband is working from home as well. But I understand that that, 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 excuse me, that that is not a luxury that everyone is granted because of their employers. So let's get into some of the things that you can wear to work that you can also make. Now, this list is going to be pretty comprehensive. We're talking about pants, dresses, tops, as well as blazers. Now, I did not include jumpsuits because a lot of the dresses that I mentioned can also be made into a jumpsuit version. Also, while I don't necessarily mind wearing jumpsuits and taking off all of my clothes to go to the bathroom, I know that this is not a thing for everyone, okay? So what made the list? This is essentially a list of things that I would wear if I went into an office to go to work. So before you guys come for me and be like, oh, you didn't include this, you didn't include that. Again, this is just something that I picked out based off of my personal style and things that I thought that would be easy to navigate, right? So I'm giving you both knit as well as um, woven trousers. And I know that being plus size, it's not always comfortable to wear knit, I mean, woven trousers, right? Why? Because sometimes you just don't feel like it in truth. But also, I also believe that a plus size body deserves to be in a tailored look. So we are also including some of that in here. In order to make it onto this list, your bust had to go up to at least a 56, 57. Some of these patterns do not go up to a full 60 inch bust. To get included here, um, you did have to have a pretty wide breadth for your hips as well. So ideally, I wanted for people to be able to fit into a 60 inch hip. Not all of these patterns go up that high, but the max, I mean, the minimum is 58 inches in the hips. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into this list now go ahead grab your pens and pieces of paper while i am going to make sure that i include the links and things like that you might want to take a couple of notes on something some of these patterns that like really resonate with you based off of how i describe them um i will also include my links below some of these links will be affiliate links um so that your girl can earn a little commission from them but with that let's go ahead and get started okay so first up, we have pants. And y'all yeah, listen, when I look down, it's because I'm looking at my iPad because I did research for you. So let's get into the pants. If you are looking for some workwear pants, one of my favorite things or rather pants that I have made are the Protier pants. And these are by Paradise Patterns. These pants were one of the first pants that I really tested that um, I got my measurements and my adjustments right. I will say that I probably didn't need to make as, as many adjustments as, as I did. I raised the rise a couple of inches, but I will say that Sasha does such a really great job, excuse me, she does such a really great job in making sure that these instructions are really easy to follow. Um, I think that they're really easy to follow. I have heard feedback from others where they didn't think that it was easy to follow, but there are a couple of key features in here that I thought were really cool. One of them being the French themed pocket and she gives great instructions on that. The reason why I say she gives great instructions is because you know I don't read instructions. So the fact that I read her instructions thoroughly and was able to follow that to a T in order to create the pattern, it's a plus for me. She also gave really great um, help on if you needed to raise your rise or make certain adjustments or even how to know to make those adjustments in your pants. Up next, we've got the Lore PR tulip trousers. Now listen, you guys already know that I stand for Lore PR. Also, congratulations girl because she is pregnant. The tulip trousers come in a couple of different views, giving you some really great options as far as 
how it is that you want your pants to look. The reason why they're called the tulip trousers is because they aren't just a pleated trouser. They actually have a little cross in the front, giving such a really beautiful silhouette. Next up, we've got the closet core pleated pants. Now, if you have been hiding underneath a rock, Okay, let me not say that because last time I said that y'all were like, I actually have been underneath the rock. So if you haven't seen a couple of my previous shorts, then you may have missed my love affair with my Pietra pants. I wore them when I was in Florida with my husband and I did show them there. But the Pietra pant is such a beautiful silhouette. It features um, a seam down the front thigh. Um, or the front leg period. And it, I love the way that the pockets are. The pockets are huge. They're great for snacks or for notebooks if you're at work, okay? Notebooks, pens, all of that official stuff, right? Um, I think that it was such an easy pattern. I love the way that there is a flat front with a, an elastic back, making it really easy to get into. Now, if you do have a large distance between your hips and your waist, she does suggest going ahead and adding in an invisible zipper to make it easier for you to get in and out. I do think I'm gonna try that with my next pair because my waist was still a little too big for me on the first pair that I made. And I would like to take that waist in a little bit more and make the hips a little bit bigger. So. The, those pH or pants though, hands down, fantastic. Continuing on with our woven trousers, we've got the petite stitchery pageant pleated shorts and trousers. Fantastic pattern. I haven't made it myself, but I really am a fan of petite stitchery patterns. Also keeping up with those um, wo woven patterns is the Seamwork Iggy pants. These just came out and they are so cute. I love, 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 love this silhouette and highly, highly encourage you all to go ahead and try those. Also brand new to the pattern uh, picture is the, I don't know if you guys have heard, but um, Blackbird Fabrics came out with their own line of patterns. So they call them BF patterns. And this is one of the things that's on my cutting table and waiting for me when I get back to Atlanta. But these are the BF uh, Taylor trousers. And they are giving the ideal flat front trouser, perfect for any like wear. Um, one of the other things that I want to point out though, is that if you were like, hey girl, I love a flat front with an elastic waistband. I do want to highlight my very own um, ME20, I mean 2005, which was my first pattern with Nomi. Yes, it. I think it's considered an indie pattern because your girl designed it. But it does feature that flat front with an elastic waistband in the back and it has a tapered leg. The one, one of the patterns that's on this list is also the Made for Mermaids Winnie pants. Now these came out actually as kind of like an, a loungewear pant, but if you make them out of a uh, ponty knit like I did with my first pair, one, they fit fantastically, but two, these are a pant that you can actually wear to work. Grab hold of some like black, navy blue, khaki, depending upon what your style aesthetic is, maybe some fuchsia like I did. And these are perfect to wear to work and they transition seamlessly into sitting and lounging on your couch at home. Another really great knit pattern is the SOS pant that is from Patterns for Pirates. Fantastic, easy pattern that you can use a great um, ponty knit for as well, or a scuba, any of those double knits will work really well with that. And it's giving, excuse me, you're, it's giving you a more tapered leg, which is really great for workwear as well. So with that, let's go ahead and hop on into dresses. Now, a lot of these dresses, like I said, can also be made into um, jumpsuits. So keep that in mind. First up, we've got the Seamwork Sloan dress, which is super cute. I love this. Then we also have the Seamwork Ulla, as well as the, the Seamwork Aronica dress. We are in the throes of, of course, summer and spring and pairing that seamwork Aronica with a blazer or a cardigan is going to be perfect for workwear, especially because it's giving high cut. It's not giving a lot of gappage underneath. So you don't necessarily have to worry about too much cleavage or your bra showing. So also I just want to highlight as we get into like the dresses and tops, these tops are not going to be low cut because um, from what I remember working in corporate America, showing a little titty is not appropriate for work. I don't know why. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. Before somebody come for me in the comments, okay? I'm just joking, just joshing with you, okay? So next up, we've got the closet core Kaye dress. Y'all, this has been on my to be made like list 
for probably two years now and I really do think that I'm gonna make it this year, okay? Then we also have the Elodie wrap dress from Closet Core. I stand for a wrap dress, friends. I love a wrap dress and I really love the silhouette of the Elodie um, wrap dress. Then we've got the um, then we've got the sassy Laura PR wrap it up blazer dress, you guys. This is a fantastic dress. Depending upon, of course, the material, you can really make it sexy with something a little bit slinky if that's your jam, or you can use a more structured fabric, giving a lot more um, of a firm silhouette that is not that has less drape. Um, then we've got the cashmere Lennox shirt dress, and that's like a fit and flare dress, and I love that as well as the River Mont dress. Switching gears, we've got the Made for Mermaids Reese Peplum um, dress, and it comes in like a peplum dress, like it's, I don't wanna say it's a peplum, but you can obviously turn it into a peplum shirt, but it is more of a button down with a flare dress. Obviously, I've got the pictures up for you to see. Then we also have the Isabel dress because like I said, I love a wrap dress, okay? Then we've got the Love Notions Tessa sheath dress. The sheath dress is such a classic um, classic silhouette to wear to work. Pairing it with a cardigan, a shirt underneath, or a blazer, and it's like... Then lastly, we've got the Patterns for Pirates Hepburn dress. I love the Hepburn dress because, yes, it is a fitted dress, but it's not a bodycon dress, so it's giving you space. It's j literally just kind of coming over and lightly touching your curves, and I think that is way appropriate for work. Um, let's get into skirts. Patterns for Pirates recently released a pencil skirt that is drafted for woven fabrics. Whenever I think of workwear, I immediately think of a pattern skirt, I mean a pencil skirt, which is truly fantastic. They also, of course, have the pencil, the pirate pencil skirt, which is drafted for knit fabrics. But I do think that that's going to be a little too body kind, a little too tight for workwear, unless of course you size up for it. Um, but I do love the silhouette of this whole woven skirt. I think it's fantastic. We also have the Love Notions Sybil Illusion Skirt. That does come with the pencil skirt option, but it does come with a couple of different options as well. Then of course we've got the Made for Mermaids Presley Skirt designed by yours truly. And now that micro mini or that mini is not work appropriate at all, unless of course you are a tennis instructor, but Getting down to that above knee length is perfect for workwear, especially because that preppy look is really in for this season. Then of course we've got the Maeve skirt that's also by Made for Mermaids that's designed by my friend Cassie. And it's fantastic because it comes in a couple of different lengths. Yes, it is a straight skirt, but it's not quite as fitted as a pencil skirt. And it gives you the additional options of having the maxi, midi, as well as mini options. And then we have the Seamwork Darcy skirt, which is giving us a wrap with a little bit of a, like, like a, it ties, and I love that. I think it's so cute. Um, and the, the wrap front is not giving too much thigh, so I think that that does make it work appropriate. So let's go ahead and get into our tops. Um, we've got the Love Notion Aria button down. Now, this top is perfect because I think that it's a really great in between, between a tailored, button down shirt as well as some of these oversized button down shirts that we're seeing. It's got more ease than the tailored shirt and it's giving a professional appearance and there's so many different options that you can make along with it. Then we've got the Lore PR Tazzy Tee. So with the Tazzy Tee, it's giving a little bit of like shoulder action. I did do a sew along for that on here, which I'll link to right up here. So um, that is such a fantastic uh, like upgrade to a basic t-shirt where you can feel like it's casual, but it's giving more dressy. Then we also have the Made for Mermaids Everly, and that is a cardigan. And I love the way that cardigan hits. It hits on that high hip, and it's such a beautiful um, addition to any workwear because you can use a heavy knit cable, like cable knit for it, or you can keep it lightweight, depending upon how much AC is blasting in your office, okay? Um, then we've got the Alani that's also by Made for Mermaids, and that's gonna give you that oversized button down shirt feel as well as the Thea Pleated Top. Uh, when the Thea Pleated Top came out, I am not gonna lie, I was not fully subscribed, I was not here for it. But as I have seen it over the years, I'm like, this is a great top. It is. It has a higher neck, but I love the way that it's kind of pleated and it gives a different visual. Fantastic work done by Brittany who designed that. Then we've got the Seamwork Dara 
Uh, top, great top to wear. I love it. It's a button. It's not a button down, but it's giving kind of like that peasant top. It's really flowy. I love it. As well as the Roan. Now, I wore my Seamwork Roan button down while I was actually here in Toronto. I wore it yesterday as I was working this show. And it's so great. It's really glowy, giving it a French tuck or tuck, tucking in just the front and leaving the back out. And of course, I'm going to put a picture of myself right here wearing it. I loved that visual that it offered. I felt professional, but not like super dressed up, you know? Um, and then we've got the Closet Core Jenna, which of course is also another button down. The Jenna, you can make in a top as well as a dress. And those shirt dresses are all the rage, as well as the Nick that's also from Closet Core. Then we're getting into Friday Patterns. From Friday Patterns, we've got the Donny shirt, which, <clears throat> excuse me, is also another button down situation. And then the square neck top. And I love the square neck top because it's a different, it's giving a different neckline. I love that visual. And I feel like the ease makes it so easy to transition from work wear into casual wear as well. This one is a new to me pattern as well as pattern company and it's the capstone patterns and they came out with the um the hemlock top and dress so again i put it underneath the top but you can make it into a dress and i love the flowy silhouette that it's offering it's such a beautiful silhouette it is loose but like in a very classy like upscale type of way and i'm fully subscribed to it i love that um, and then we've got the Michelle Sews, and this is also another new to me company, and it's a black owned company. So we've got the Michelle Michelle Sews Tia blouse, which is kind of like a um, like a blocky like uh, woven shirt, which is really cute. We've got the cashmere at Harrison shirt, which is giving that tailored button up that I was talking about before. And then lastly, we've got the Helen's Closet Cameron button up as well. And I know it sounds like I did a lot of button up patterns, but y'all, I'm in my button up season and I feel like everyone should just join me, okay? Also last year and this year, everyone has come out with button up shirts. And I think that you should try them out to see what feels right for you. Because sometimes you do really want a tailored look and sometimes you want something that looks a little bit more blowy. And with these patterns, you can kind of make that decision and how it fits in with your style and aesthetic for yourself. Now let's get into these blazers because when I think of workwear, yes, we're doing blazers, okay? So we've got the Friday Patterns Helen Blazer. Now I made this blazer and what I want to do is just forewarn you because this is an extremely oversized blazer. So if you're saying to yourself, I fall into these here measurements, I would suggest that you size down because I made it based off of my measurements and it was way too oversized for me and I don't wear it. So I'm about to deconstruct it and recut it so that it's something that I would actually wear. Um, then we've got the Petite Stitchery Kirby Blazer. The Petite Stitchery Kirby Blazer, I went over, maybe I did a live sew with that. I did do a live sew with that. And it's such a straightforward pattern. Um, the only part that did get me hooked, like a little hook up, hiccup was in making it, it was in attaching the lining in the sleeve area. That visually did not make sense in my brain. So that's not how I did it. I did not follow the directions for that part. I do like how the Kirby blazer comes in a more tailored blazer fit as well as an oversized blazer fit. Then we've got the Cashmere at Auburn blazer, which is giving us like a little cropped blazer stitch. And I love that for us because one thing about um, plus size designs is I do feel like we tend to go to a more oversized look and we tend to lose our beautiful curves when we do that. The Auburn does give us the opportunity to go ahead and show off some of our curves and I'm, I'm subscribed. I'm here for that. Okay. Then we've got the Helen's Closet Moss Jacket. Now this is not a blazer. This is giving more of a um, collarless, like wide sleeve situation. And I love that because visually speaking, when you make that in a, like a blazer type of material or that woven material, it's giving people something that they were not expecting and expect the unexpected, right? Then we also have the Blackwood cardigan that is from um, Helen's Closet as well. Um, I probably should have done a section on cardigans or just like outerwear period, but it's spring and summer and yes, we're wearing them in the office because they blast at AC. But this Blackwood cardigan is amazing. I do love the Blackwood cardigan as a long cardigan as well as 
the uh, fake cardigan from Made for Mermaids. That's actually a cardigan that I'm wearing back home. And dare I say that it is like my emotional support cardigan because I always feel so warm, cozy, and comfortable when I'm in it. The other cardigan that I really love and that you can actually make into a sweater dress or just leave it open as a cardigan is the All Buttoned Up from Patterns for Pirates. That one is more fitted in nature and I think it's a fantastic cardigan. Um, up next, we've got the Closet Cora Jessica Blazer. This is giving a more tailored blazer look and it is beautiful. The lines are gorgeous. It's going to make you feel like you are ready for your power suit. Now, also, if you make that Jessica Blazer and those Pietra pants, it's giving I'm here to do work and be cute. Okay, it's giving I walked in in power as well as creativity because my mate, I made my own clothes. It's giving I can do anything that I want to do. Okay, um, and then last up, we've got the Dion blazer. The Dion blazer, of course, is actually drafted for a knit fabric, making it a little bit easy. I've made a couple of these, I made one in a scuba knit, I've done a couple of them in Ponzi. Very straightforward, very easy pattern to do. All right, friends. That was a lot of patterns and we made it through. So I hope you wrote down some of the patterns as well as some ideas for styling them. Maybe I'll do another video on how I would put them together, but this video is already at 20 minutes and I wanna make sure that I honor your time. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. And I hope that you have subscribed, you have liked, you have shared this with someone who needs a little bit of help with their workwear situation. And I will catch you all on the next time. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Definitely turn on the bell for notifications for when I go live and when I drop new videos. Until next time, stay creative.